What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Randonautica investigation. Investigation or playing Randonautica? I don't know. We're doing Randonautica today. Uh, it just got done raining. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a good day to do Randonautica. I was sitting around, had the day off work, wasn't doing anything. I was like, you know what? I can go out, get some exercise, run some intentions. Um, and hopefully not run from stalkers, but we always know how that goes here on Randonautica. Uh, yeah, if you're new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and there's a lot more content coming if you like stuff like this. So go down there, subscribe right now before the video starts and helps us out a ton. All right, guys, let's get started with today's Randonautica. So let's see what we got. I got three intentions screenshot. You know, we always do three intentions no matter what. Uh, the first one is going to be from uh, Luis. Sorry if I said that wrong. I think I said it right. Luis, thank you very much. Appreciate your intention. And we're going to do a uh, treasure hunt. Yeah, treasure hunt. I like that. I like anything with treasure. Sometimes it leads us to money. And who couldn't use a few extra bucks, even if it's just from Random Nautica. Um, but we had, we've had pretty good success with uh, intense like treasure hunt before. So I'm hoping that success will continue into today. Uh, oh, looks like the sun's actually starting to come out a little bit. And kind of bright. I'll, I'll take it though. I'm not complaining, I'll take it. Uh, Looks like we got somebody pulling in here joining us. Hopefully it's not, uh, no, it's just an old man and a dog. It's not a stupid stalker or anything. Unless the old man and the dog is, is, is a stalker, but I don't think so. Anyways, so, let's set this intention. Uh, alright, we got the owl up in the air. Hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Come on. Come on, owl. No true anomaly available. Guys, this, it's been giving us, been giving me like no true anomaly available like a lot lately, like really like a lot. Um, I don't know what it is about it. No, the guy's got two dogs. He's got some crazy leash that attaches to both of them. And uh, Yeah, it's like this V leash that attaches to both of them, then you can hold it. Huh, I don't want to film him though, just because he's like literally like 15 feet from me. Like, oh, why, are you why, why are you filming me? Oh, I'm not a stalker. Oh. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's been giving us no true anomaly on here a lot lately. It used to never give us this. Now, every literally every time I'm out doing Randonautica, I want the intense I set, it always gives me no true anomaly available at least once so I don't know what the deal is with that um kind of bizarre sorry if my camera's shaking my car is kind of shaking see it on the monitor anyways we got a point it's right it's right off the side of a main road uh right by what appears to be a river it's by a river. I don't know why I said it appears to be by a river when it's literally a gigantic red river running right by it. It doesn't appear to be a river. It is a river. So let's see what uh, hidden treasure is over there. Hey, wait. It wasn't a hidden treasure. I just said the intention for hidden treasure or something. <laughs> it was treasure hunt. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go see what treasure hunt can bring us over there. Um... Yeah, let's do it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think we're going to get today? Cast your ballots in the comments below. Also, I just put up a poll about what type of videos you would like to see more from this channel. So please go over there, vote on the poll. 
let me know what type of videos you guys want to see because I'm trying to really trying to mix it up. I do have some haunted camping on the way. I'm trying to get some paranormal investigations lined up. Um, really trying for those because I enjoy doing those, but so far nothing's panning out. I mean, I, I know haunted camping is kind of like in a paranormal investigation. I know it's kind of one and the same, but it's like, it feels different. You know what I mean? Like, it, the bolt, they don't seem the same. They feel different. So I'm trying to get, trying to get those worked out. Um, but yeah, go over there, check it out. Let me know what videos you guys want to see. All right, I'll shut up and we'll drive over there and see what we got. So I'm to the spot right now for treasure hunt. As you can see, like, it's right off of a main busy road. The gate is locked, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. Um, I'm thinking and hoping it's just locked uh, so nobody drives back here. So I do see some tire marks. But I'm, I'm also not sure I'm supposed to be down this way. But you know what, whatever. Make it quick. See if there's anything for Randonautica back here. So I got the point. And I don't know if you'd call this a really treasure hunt type of spot. I don't actually know what kind of spot fits treasure hunt. But, uh... I don't know. Guys, let's check this out. Crows are like going at it up there. I hear them. This is crazy though. This like this canopy of trees with vines coming down. This is pretty sick back here, honestly. Yo. Maybe that's what they're all, they're all mad about, dead bird. Maybe that's what they're all hooting at when their friends kick the bucket. All right, I gotta go this way, I know. This is crazy though, it's got some, some crazy trails and very humid, very humid back here. So I think we're getting close to some water. I, I know I passed a bridge as I came over here. So we gotta be getting close to some water somewhere. This is, this is kind of a cool spot. Uh, I never would have found this on my own. Like that's one, like I've said many times, that's one thing, one cool thing about Randonautica. Brings you to a lot of spots you'd never noticed before. Like you would literally never notice these spots. You'd never think of going here by yourself. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I think, I check my phone, but I think we're this way. Yep, I was right. Points right up here, right by the water. Looks like lightning hit that. Man, that's no joke. That's a big, that used to be a big, big old tree. Oh, there's some people fishing over there too, on the other side of the river. All right, guys, we are at the point. Uh, I'm not seeing too much. Um, yeah, just uh, just a cool scenic, like, overlook. No, I'm not seeing any hidden treasure, though. <laughs> Unless you count that Corona bottle as hidden treasure. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they were talking about. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I was hoping to find money or, you know, something of that of that nature, of course. But I'm not really seeing 
too much. Um, wait a second. Oh, I almost missed these. We got some marbles sitting right here. Three of them. Is there any more? I don't think so. I don't think there's any more, but yeah, we got a, I found three marbles just chilling there. Could that be, come on, focus. Could that be, uh, could that be hidden treasure? Maybe. Huh. That's, that's sick. Definitely not a total L then. Um, yeah, I haven't seen marbles in forever. Like in a long, long time. I used to have a bunch of I think everybody used to have a bunch when they were kids. Oh, maybe. Maybe not anymore. But when I grew up, everybody had some. Nobody knew how to play them, but... We always had some. What's this? Look at this. It's part of a... Uh, part... Come on, stress part of a part of a robin's egg I don't want to pick it up it felt nasty but yeah it's part of a robin's egg it's those bright blue eggs must have fallen out of a tree somewhere up here okay so we found some marbles and half of a robin's egg is that a W? I think it's a W and then there were some people fishing, like, dude, it actually kind of scared me, honestly. Because so I was walking back there, and I was hearing these voices. And, like, I was like, what is that? Like, I heard somebody talking. I was like, there's no way people could just be talking in a car that loud. And then I thought I heard it coming from over the river, and I looked, and, yeah, there's people fishing. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm not the only one out here today. But, yeah, it, it, caught me off, it really caught me off guard. It kind of freaked me out. But then again, that's not saying much. That's not hard to do nowadays with Rain and Nautica. All right, what do you guys say? Let's set another intention back here. All right, let's set another intention back here. Get Rain and Nautica open. Come on. Okay, uh, next intention. And thank you for that uh, very much for... Uh, hidden treasure or yeah thank you for hidden treasure appreciate that um or actually treasure hunt i'm sorry treasure hunt i kept saying hidden treasure i think i even said the intention is hidden treasure but yeah thank you very much for treasure hunt <laughs> even though it became uh hidden treasure and now we're going to do one of uh elizabeth's intentions elizabeth uh she's always commenting on the video she's awesome so thank you very much elizabeth for your intentions we're gonna do yours of uh blast from the past uh, i like any of those retro intentions so let's see what we find okay setting it right now blast from the past blast from the past blast from the past I set the radius small, so it, it might actually keep me in the woods. Let's find out if it will. Gave me no true anomaly available running again. It's, man, it's humid back here by that, by that river. It's no joke. All right, we got one. We got one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually keeping me in the woods. It's not too far that way. It's like down this path, down this path. It, I, I don't know where exactly it is. It just showed the pin that way. Um, so we will go. We will go over there and see what's what's good. All right, we're walking. We're walking down the path. Let's see where it takes us. Hoping not to get rained on. I felt a raindrop. 
just a little bit ago. That's, that's actually also probably why it's super humid today. It's like it's been raining all the time. Man. This is what I like. This is what I like to see. Very wide open areas where no stalkers can hide. Hopefully, hopefully no stalkers can hide there. They always find their way into uh, into every little place, but hopefully they can't they can't hide out here. Hopefully, sometimes that doesn't deter them. Look at this, oh, man! Can you guys see this? Hopefully, you guys you can see it. But it's like so much. Uh, I think it's ragweed. This stuff. It's like, dude, it's like snow. It's like snow coming down. I think it's ragweed. That means my allergies are gonna be very happy later. <laughs> but it looks really nice. Really good vibes. And like I said, guys, we literally, literally do not have far to go at all for this next intention. Pretty excited, pretty excited. This whole place is really cool. I want to come back here, come back to this this area and just do more Antarctica. Seems like it's got a lot of places to discover and explore. Like at one point it's taking me deep into those woods by the river, and now it's taking me out here. Really nice, uh, really nice fields. All right. All right, we're coming up on it. This is really cool. It's like, it looks like, uh, it looks like almost like a bamboo forest. You know, we don't have bamboo around here. That's just really what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like a mini bamboo forest. Super cool. A point is right right we're about on it we're about on this point you're about on it and 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 we're here we're here which is weird because I saw a bird land on these branches just a second ago and I was like I wonder if that's where the point is and sure enough it was it's like send me a message like here's the point Follow where I land. Just kidding. Birds don't play around in Nautica. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Oh, cool. Well, I'm in the middle of an empty path. Uh, at least uh, I'm de I'm definitely gonna chalk this one up to an L. I think I think it's fair to say that. Um, I'm gonna poke around. I'm not seeing anything. And the intention was a uh, blast from the past, I believe. So, blast from the past. I was wondering if maybe like something out here, like a some sort of tree or something could like, you know, trigger a memory or something. Maybe that'd be a blast from the past because it doesn't always have to be an object. But I'm not seeing anything that's jolting me with any memories anywhere here. Also not seeing anything hidden in these uh, in these bushes, aside from some trash. Wait a second, wait a second, dude, that's not trash. Yo, what is this doing out here? It's like, oh man, it's not in very good shape. We got a Game Boy, okay, okay. We got an old, old Game Boy. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have batteries in it. Yeah, this is, dude, this thing's rough. This thing's rough. It's missing its uh, outside screen protector. You can see where the glue peeled off of it. 
No batteries in it for sure. It won't turn on. Oh, well, it's not turning on. I bet it will turn on though when I put some batteries in this thing. Dude, these things are built like a, like a tank. There's one in a museum that I think got like bombed during, uh, I want to say the Afghanistan uh, war, Iraq war. I think it's in the Nintendo Museum, and it's just playing Tetris nonstop as an exhibit. So I know these things are built. So I bet if I throw some batteries in this thing, it's going to fire up. I'm going to stop by a game store and pick up a game for it. That's cool. This, this is what makes me happy. <laughs> that is what, that is what I'm happy about. Even if we have to deal with a stupid stalker today, this is a major W. Because you guys know me, so you guys see me doing live streams sometime, and all behind me is retro games, uh, retro consoles, not completely retro, but some retro games, some retro consoles. I love this stuff, especially handhelds. Handhelds are literally like some of my favorite consoles ever, ever. Um. I've, I've, I think it's because my first console ever, and that's why this makes sense to a blast from the past, is, uh, was a full-size Game Boy like this. That was literally my first console I ever got, if you want to count it as a console or whatever. But yeah, um, the first video games I was ever introduced to, and I played it to death. I still have it somewhere in my house. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of a double, double whim where you got a, Go away, a mosquito is biting my hand. Uh, we got a retro console and a blast from the past of from my own being. So that's, dude, I'm so happy. Even though I walk, I walk out there, all my tires are flat and the stock is broken in my car, I'm still happy. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. I have to put this up on the display rack with all the other stuff. Uh, I'm going to find my old one too and stick it up there as well. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, man, that's awesome. So we got some marbles and we got a Game Boy. So that kind of seems like, uh, it kind of seems like getting marbles in a Game Boy. It's all like old stuff. You know, marbles used to be really popular as a game. Game Boys used to be really popular as a game. Now it's so much, not, now not so much. So it's like a blast from the past for both of those. So, yeah, but, man, I can't stop talking about this. I'm so excited, like, yeah, literally, like, I, I've, I love handhelds. Um, my goal is to collect all the handhelds that have ever been made. I know that's probably not possible, but I want to, I want to get uh hey uh two that i really want my on my next list to buy are the sega Gen or the sega nomad i really want to get my hands on one of those and uh the sega game gear i really want both of those i thought they were really cool handheld i thought they were really innovative especially the nomad um so yeah those are on my next my next list to buy uh, I've got PSPs, I got uh, Vita, so I got tons of Game Boys, tons of them. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, but I am going to go back to my car now. I'm gonna set our last intention. See if we can finish this day out with three W's. I doubt it, because it never happened. But we'll try, we'll try. Okay, so the Game Boy is gonna be very hard to top. But we're going to set our last intention. Um, and uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay. I just zoomed in on myself. I didn't change the camera the way I want it. Okay. So last intention we got is from Jennifer Hernandez. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Oh, I'll try and give you a sh shout out here camera will focus on it and her intention that she left us she left us three and the last one I found really interesting because it's something I never would have thought of it's not for an object it's not for you know anything particular she says intent 1994 I don't know 
Uh, but we are going to try that. All right. 1994. Intent, 1994. Let's see what we got. I'm pretty excited for this one. It's just so, like... It just could be, like, anything, you know what I mean? All right, we got one, we got one. It's... Okay. Okay, that's what's up. It's in an urban area. Uh, maybe in the back of a business? Maybe some sort of church? I'm not sure. I'll plug it into Google, and we'll head over there. But, yeah, Intent 1994... It sounds like it's going to be interesting. I, don't, I have no idea what it could mean. You know, I didn't even think about that when putting this together, but now I'm thinking about it. So we got a Game Boy, which was uh, a popular console in the 1990s. We got marbles, which were a semi-popular toy in the 1990s, at least from what I can remember because I am a 90s kid. Um, and now we're doing Intent 1994. I did not... I didn't even think about that because I already screenshotted these. Like I didn't. I don't pick these intentions as we're out. I screenshotted these intentions already before I even left my house. And it's crazy that we got two things that were popular in the '90s, and now I'm doing the intent of 1994. Maybe we'll wrap this video up with something else from the '90s. I don't know. Let's go over there and find out, though. All right, I was right. This is some type of a church. Not some type of a church, it's a church. And our intent is right there, it's right up there. I'm interested to see what this is gonna be. I already see something, I already see something right here. There's a box sitting on top of this pole. You got some main roads around, so I'm not too worried about being ambushed by stalkers. Oh, smelling a fresh, fresh sealant on the asphalt. But you got a box. I don't know what it is. Let's see what's in here. I don't feel like there's much in here at all. Some paper. What do you What do you guys want to bet? What do you guys want to bet this is going to be some notes from the store? Yep. 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 I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to be something. It's a picture of that uh, that bull stalker we always see, and a note. <sighs> I guess it's good that I'm not seeing the actual stalkers, but let's see, burlap mask. Yeah, this is like a really, really, really rough sketch of how that guy looks. Horns possibly stained with real blood when there's a full moon, and then death in quotes. What does that mean? Like, oh, obviously I know what death means, but like, what does that, like, how does this all go together? You know? This is, this is, this is interesting. Possibly stained with real blood when there's a full moon. Okay, and we got some really terrible handwriting. The, bit, the bull, I'm guessing, not Bill. The bull doesn't agree, appear, to harm anyone. What is this? What is this word? Des despite his many, his his name, name, main, his main, alluding to death. Which I'm guessing it means name, alluding to death. He seems, and now this handwriting is different. Oh, okay, there's one, one A, two, two A. He seems to be a messenger. He follows me. He won't harm you, unlike the others. So this guy's name is Death. They call this the, the bull guy, Death, but he doesn't harm anyone. That's, that's quite a contradiction there, if I say so myself. He seems to be a messenger, which is interesting because he's, all, he's been the one that's like, you know, always been like popping out and like trying to send us messages. Like, what, either, like, physical or, like, you know, miming it out or whatever. He follows me. So, I wonder if this guy was getting stalked by the cult, too. Because this is definitely the cult, for sure. And this is definitely a second message that I received. Oh, no. I can't let this blow away. 
This is definitely a second message that I've received from it. I'm gonna get in the car. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna position myself towards the exit right here of this church because uh, if you guys have followed me, followed us, I should say, on videos long enough, we always visit, like when we stop somewhere, we never wanna be trapped. There's no other exit out of this parking lot except for this. So we never want our cars facing away from an exit. We always want to be like ready to go, you know, take off if we need to. So, you know, before I really investigate anything, I always try and uh, position my car towards an exit, towards like where I'm, where I'm ready to leave in case I have to. Um, which here, it's like literally in the middle of a neighborhood. There's people out. Uh, you know, it's right by two main roads, well, kind of main roads, like country roads, but like, you know, it's safe, but knowing these guys, you know, you're never safe anywhere. So what I've gotten from this is, so our burlap mask bull friend, his nickname is death. That's, that's really nice. Uh, but he doesn't hurt anybody. The weird thing, like I said back there, this is weirding me out. Horns. And obviously, you know, it's a bull has horns. Possibly stained with real blood when there's a full moon. Like, that's, dude, that's some really weird ritual stuff. The bull doesn't appear to harm anyone despite his name alluding to death. And what is this? What is this even about? Why is there, is this like, I've gotten notes like this before. Where it, like, where it seems like uh, two different people are having a conversation. So, cause yeah, it's one one a two two b, or no two a one a one one a two two a. The bull doesn't appear to blah 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 blah. He seems to be a messenger, which makes sense. Cause all he's done is given us messages. He follows me, so like I like I said, I wonder if he was stalking somebody else before us. And then he won't harm you, unlike the others. Which I'm guessing, and there's nothing on the back. The others, I'm guessing, he means like that bird man, the guy with the bird mask. And uh You know, I think that's the only other cult member we've seen. Is that guy with the bird mask. And the and the bull. It also makes me wonder if he's referencing the the other group that's like against the stalkers. Because guys, if you if you're new to this channel, uh, we've been and there's nothing else in the box. Uh, we've been dealing with stalkers for quite a while, um, specifically a cult. We're like caught up in the middle of like this like cult war. Um, it's it's really weird. It's really weird. So a brief summary of it. It seems like there's three different groups. Um, there's the, there's this cult that consists of, so far what I've seen, this dude wearing a bird mask and this dude wearing a bull mask. Um, this, another, another group of stalkers who attempt to like physically take some of the intentions that we get, which they're not getting the Game Boy. I'm, I will fight to the death over that. And then the third group seems like there's a person or persons, judging by this note, that's leaving us these intentions. Um, and they've implied, it, it, they, they're leaving like all these clues, it seems, about this cult, like all this research about this cult. And it's implied, and like, I found this note from them that I'm not really supposed to be showing this, like, to anybody. Like, he's just giving it to me because I need to, like, do something with it. But I've already shown it all on camera. Because one note he gave me is like, uh, like, read this, burn after reading, pretty much. And I did that, then I realized, I was like, oh, yeah, I just put it on the camera. So I think that's why I'm getting so many problems with the, with the group of stalkers. Because they know where I am. You know, they know where to find me. Um... They figure they figured out who I was, so I don't know. It's our working theory. It seems to be accurate, though. Um, 
Yeah, guys, that's uh, that's all we had to go with. And now that we get another note, no stalkers today, but another note. It's like another piece of the puzzle. <sighs> I don't know what to do with it, and I need to I need to compile all these notes because they're scattered all over my house. Um, all right, so I think I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, we could sit here and speculate all we want. I could I could literally sit here speculate for the next hour and a half and just fill up this entire SD card with me just jabbering at the camera going around in circles talking about like oh it could be this it could be that but you know what that's not going to do any good for anybody so we're going to cut it here um leave it at that and let me know your thoughts in the comments guys I need your help on this one I because I don't I don't know what's going on Max doesn't know what's going on okay Speaking of Max, I know somebody in the comments has probably asked me, oh, where's Max? Somebody asked me in like every video, which is fine. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. But I always I always like address it. So here, I'll address it, I'll address it again. Max is tired of dealing with the stalkers, so he is taking an indefinite hiatus from Randonautica. It's not saying he's permanently gone. Indefinite means without a set period of time. I know it sounds like infinite, but an indefinite hiatus from Randonautica. But, but, Max is working with me, um, or I should say we are working together now with me, because actually he does most of the, most of the stuff for uh, Dark Web. So I am working with Max <laughs> on Dark Web videos. Uh, he doesn't mind doing investigations. Um... So we are, we've been working on those together, but right now he's like, look, you know, the, the stupid clown hasn't bothered me. Like none of the stalkers have bothered me. And we're like, well, if that's the case, like, why don't you, like, we agreed, like, why don't you quit doing random Nautica? Like, there's no reason to go back out there and, you know, have these guys start annoying you again. Like, what's the point? And we just kind of thought about, we're like, yeah, you know, there is really no point. Like, let's, until something happens, let's just leave it alone. I don't know where Mr. Slippery is. I don't know where these other these other stalkers that have bothering, been bothering Max are. I don't know if they're coming after me or what, or we might see him. But we agreed, like, look, we're not doing, we're not, like, don't worry about it. Yeah, so that's, that's where Max has been. We're working on dark web videos. He doesn't want to do Randonautica right now. So that's pretty much... It. And we have a very limited time to film uh, because he's got another job and I got my job. So our, our schedules clash. We usually, we used to have like four days a week to film together. Now we have one. Um, and when we do have one, we want to spend it on, you know, something like dark web investigations, which is one of our like, um, our favorite kind of videos to film so that's where max is uh anybody if you see people asking the comments where's max it's a fair question nothing wrong with answering or with asking that refer them to this video though <laughs> and to this mark um because that's that's my answer on uh, on where max is and what's going on um yeah so that about does it for today guys uh, I know if you guys are still here with me right now, uh, you guys are the, the, are the real supporters, so a big shout out to you guys. Uh, thank you very much for all your support. P big shout, huge shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. You guys have been wonderful um, and very generous to us, and we appreciate it. Oh, man. So, all right. Uh, that's it for today. Um... New Randonautic is coming soon, new Haunted, new Paranormal coming soon. Uh, guys, everybody have a good 4th of July. Uh, today is, I think, the 2nd. Tomorrow night is the 3rd. I'm going to be trying to go out and do a uh, Paranormal because there's supposed to be a, a full moon and it's supposed to be a super moon. So I'm going to try and get out and do some Haunted Camping um, overnight somewhere. Actually, I know where, but... Uh, that happens, you'll see a video on that soon. Otherwise, new random nautical will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, have a good good and safe fourth. Uh, 
I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being with me on today's adventure. Uh, make sure you go down to the comments or down to the description. Check out all our links, all our social media links, all our uh, supporter links if you're interested in supporting the channel, or our merch links if you'd like to get some cool merchandise. But thank you guys. Have a good night or day wherever you are at. We'll see you very soon on the next video. Peace out, guys. Peace out.